let's look at this set in a country named xyz the courier business is broadly divided into international business dealing with couriers sent and received from abroad and domestic business dealing with couriers sent and received within the country total international business of rupees of 150 million dollars and total domestic business is of 70 million dollars the table given below gives percentage wise breakup of international business and domestic business among various companies in the sector for the year 2016 this is for this data is for 2016 then i have companies the business division international or domestic and then percentage wise share okay Right off the top, I can see because the international business was 150 million, 22% refers to 33 million. Domestic business, 20% of 70 is 14. I'll do international business all first. 33, this will be 48. This will be 42. This will be 9. And this will be 18. Now 70 million, 15%. It will be 10.5 million. 25% will be 17.5 million, 30% will be 21, and 10% will be 7. Okay, I have the breakup for each of these divisions. Next information, all couriers are moved by air, road, or rail. Okay, so far we had the five companies and the two divisions in terms of international business or domestic business. But now, an additional parameter has been introduced. These couriers are being moved by air, road, or rail. Couriers moved by air form the air segment, and the couriers moved by road or rail form the land segment. So there are two segments, air segment and land segment. And even within land segment, we have road or rail additional. Okay. All couriers in domestic business are moved by either road or rail. Okay, right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide international business and domestic business into two different parts. Into two different parts. And then I have Blue Dot. I have FedEx. I have DHL. I have Agnel. And I have Homepack. Homepack. This is one international business. Then Blue Dot, FedEx, DHL, and DHL, and Agnel, and Homepack. And then within this, I'll break it down as air, road, or rail. Air, road, and rail. Of course, the total column. Blue Dot International Business total was 33. FedEx International Business was 48. DHL International Business was 42. Diagonal International Business was 9. Then we had 18 here. Altogether, we had 150. Similar table I will create. Air, road, rail, and let me create this line, one line, two line, three line, four line, five line. Okay, now here blue dot had 14, this had 10.5. This had 17.5, this had 21, and this had 7. Now, we are told all couriers in domestic business are moved by either road or rail, which is to say no air segment. These two together form the land segment. These two together form the land segment. No air here. Okay. This line is taken care of. Okay. Of the aggregate land segment, 60% of the business is moved by road. As of now, we don't know how much is moved by land segment. So this statement, we can't really interpret. Next, all courier operations of Agnel Express are in the land segment only. See, in domestic business, Agnel's entire business is in land segment only. Even in the international business, Agnel will have the entire business in land segment only. Okay, this is not. 
नेक्स्ट एग्नल एक्सप्रेस थर्टी परसेंट शेयर ऑफ एग्रीगेट बिजनेस केटर्ड बाई लैंड नाउ सी एग्नल्स टोटल बिजनेस इज नाइन प्लस ट्वेंटी वन थर्टी मिलियन एंड दिस थर्टी मिलियन इज इक्वल टू थर्टी परसेंट ऑफ लैंड सेगमेंट और द लैंड सेगमेंट कैन बी सेट टू बी इक्वल टू हंड्रेड मिलियन द लैंड सेगमेंट बिजनेस इज सेट टू बी हंड्रेड मिलियन now the total business taking care of both the international division and the domestic division the total business is 220 million 150 plus 70 220 million if the land segment is 100 million can i say the international business air segment will be 120 million 120 million because there is no air segment in the domestic business in the international business the entirety of the air segment has to come in okay so in the international business land segment is 30 here it is 0 and the land segment here is 70 this much i know this is taken care of this is taken care of and now go back this line will also perhaps make sense of the aggregate land segment 60% worth of business is moved by road land segment was 100 million so by road we have 60 and by rail we have 40 even this statement is taken care of and this is the end of all the interpretation that we can do which will perhaps give you one more learning just because a table has been made it does not mean every number needs to be populated let us get to individual questions of the international business what is the ratio of the business catered by the air segment and that catered by the land segment in 2016 i have 120 here i have 30 here ratio is 4 is to 1 so option c next If the land segment accounted for fifteen million of FedEx's international business, if the land segment accounted for so this is fifteen here, this is fifteen here, okay. This is fifteen here. This is ten point five in entirety. This is nine here in entirety. This is twenty one here in entirety. This is seventeen point five. This is fourteen, and this is seven. Okay. If the land segment accounted for fifteen million of FedEx's international business, which company has the highest market share of the aggregate land segment in twenty sixteen? So, out of the land segment of hundred million, which company has the highest share? Highest share. Okay. Perfect. Uh, right now, land segment for blue dot. I don't know for FedEx. Can I say fifteen plus ten point five? So twenty five point five. For DHL, I don't know. But for Agnel, Agnel, I know it is twenty one plus nine thirty. And finally, for home pack. For home pack, it is seven plus. For DHL, it is seventeen point five plus. And for blue dot, it is fourteen plus. Blue dot, it is fourteen plus. Okay. <laughs> Now see, the entire land segment in domestic business is accounted for. In international business, fifteen is accounted to FedEx, nine is accounted to Agnel. So when I say for blue dot, I can I have six left over here, so it can be anything from fourteen to twenty, or it can be anything from seventeen point five to twenty three point five, and here it can be anything from seven to thirty. We don't know the precise distribution. but this is the maximum values that the domestic or the land segment business of these companies can exist so when they are asking me which company has the highest market share of the aggregate land segment in 2016 can you see regardless of where that remaining six goes agnel will continue to have the greatest market share in the aggregate land segment therefore answer to the second question is option a before we move on be careful this 15 was only valid for question 2 So now that we are moving on from question two, we don't use that anymore. Next, 
In 2016, DHL buys the home pack and forms a new group, Deliver at Home, by merging two businesses together. Then what can be the maximum value of the domestic business of this newly formed group moved by rail? Okay. We are looking at domestic business. Domestic business of this newly formed group moved by rail. I know rail has an upper cap of 40 and DHL and home pack together add up to give me only 24.5. So yes, 24.5 million I can move by rail entirely. 24.5 I can move by rail entirely. Not a problem at all. So the maximum value of the domestic business of this newly formed group moved by rail will be 24.5 million dollars which is option D. Last question. In 2016, which courier operator accounted for the maximum revenue across the domestic and international markets taken together? So basically find out their sum and find out which is the largest one. Okay, here we get 47. Blue dot is 47. FedEx is 58.5. DHL is 59.5. Agnel is 30. And home pack is 25. Clearly, DHL is the largest. So, option C should be the answer. And that is the entirety of this set. Mm -hmm.